Hello, this is Michelle Knight. This is the astrological update for Sagittarius, the week starting the 2nd of September. Now we have a new moon this week on the 5th and a stellium in the position for you of career, of being seen for your talents and the opportunity to transform in an area that you desire, connected to being out there in the world. If you've been feeling insecure or unconfident or you've had a blockage, surrender it on the 5th. And also we have a kite which is saying to you it's time to expand by going deeper, to look in to the deepest, darkest corners of your soul and other people because there's a great message for you when you accept the pain of the past. It's the fertilizer for your soul and there's great growth coming, particularly when it comes to your spirituality this week. If you've wanted to open up or expand your abilities, it's as if a light is switched on. And you have the opportunity also to feel very compassionate to somebody and to let something go, particularly when it comes to your home or your family. Healing is ready to take place. Are you ready to forgive? Are you ready to step through to where you need to be? A cardinal grand cross is allowing you to confront your fears when it comes to groups of people. Sometimes maybe you feel a bit isolated or you feel a bit overwhelmed by groups of people. You might find yourself being a fire sign overcompensating. You have the opportunity this week to meet a group of people and there being a great flow of energy. Don't allow yourself to let your insecurity stop you achieving something fabulous with this group. It may be virtual or it may be literal, but there's opportunity coming in the guise of more than one person. Uranus, the planet of the unpredictable, is bringing you a bit of the opportunity for instant pleasure and fulfillment. So that hopefully should make you feel a little bit more happy and secure. But Pluto is saying, look at what makes you feel secure or insecure. Some of those issues are coming up this week, but you have the opportunity to surrender and to overcome them, particularly as the rest of the energy is about you coming into your power in the world, whatever that means to you. And in fact, that's a very good question to ask yourself. What does it mean to be in your power in the world? Take care and I'll speak to you soon.